Welcome back to the channel and in this video I take an overview of the most luxurious coachman ever produced, the Lusso 2. It's an 8 foot wide caravan, twin axle. And as you can see there, there's a offside transverse island bed. Front makes up a large double bed too. I just want to draw your attention to the prices there. It's £46,000, but 2023 season it increases by £2,700. That's a massive increase. But as you can see there, it's a twin axle, four berth, 25 foot 11, 8 foot wide, 9 foot high, MTPLM of 1960 kilograms with an MIRO of 1800 kilograms, which gives you a payload of 160 kilograms. This can be upplated to an MTPLM of 2,000 kilograms, which gives you a payload of 200 kilograms. Also comes in a single axle, as you can see there. So starting at the front, nice looking caravan this, with the, with the black trim. Alco chassis with Alco hitch and jockey wheel. ITC is standard, what you would expect out of a caravan of this price range. Side lockers, which is uh, a little bit different to everybody else. They do these like little side doors either side. Uh, the Coachman logo across the front there. Daylight running lights. Nice graphics. Obviously you get your the usual barbecue points and three pin electric sockets. High security door lock. See these alloy wheels, they're very nice but I'd expect just something a little bit nicer for a caravan of this price range. I do love these graphics on the side, these chrome graphics. Look how nice that looks. They do give you an air of, of uh, you buying something special, but uh, it's a lot of money. It really is a lot of money. As I said before, it's an 8 foot wide caravan. See, I don't think there's even LED lights on the back. I, I, they look like bulb lights to me, but I could be wrong. A lot of LED lighting inside, mood lighting. L-shaped lounge, there's a place to put your TV if you so wish. Overhead lockers with like a, um, a chrome trim. I'm sorry for the, uh, the lighting was awful, to be honest, it was quite dark in this caravan. stereo head unit, built-in speakers just below there, <clears throat> and I did like this, it's actually um, a phone charging point, with the USB, you press it and there's the USB sockets as well, for more modern phones you just place your phone on it and it charges up, see this is very, my taste, all the dark wood and cream finishes, it's my taste, not everybody's taste, but I do love all these under cupboard lighting. Plenty of storage space in there. A couple of sockets. Mixer tap, dual fuel, Thetford oven and separate oven and hob. See all all these have got their own little lighting above which which was a nice touch. Spinning around now to the fridge freezer. I, I prefer a separate fridge freezer like this, and I do like the way that opens both sides. Another TV point there where you can put your TV. I love the little shelves with the lighting in. 
Aldi control panel. Aldi control panel. Microwave. Glossy finish to these cupboards and the Truma Comfort air conditioning system, which to some people is an absolute must. I think it'd be ideal if you went across to the continent. More deep storage. Soft clothes. Good sized double bed. And one of the biggest wardrobes I've ever seen, as you can see. I do stick the camera in. Look, it's huge. I think uh, both of you could get all your, but we close in there. Even more drawers under the cupboard for shoes. And as you can see, there's two um, doors to that wardrobe. Little shelving. Huge mirror, TV point and sockets, three pin sockets, charging USB charging points. I didn't notice where they were in, in this caravan. I assume they're on the spotlights either side of the bed. Heated towel rail, th flushing toilet. Not too sure about those bowl sinks, I'm not too sure of them. A bowed front cabinet below for your bathroom attire. Attire? <laughs> for your bathroom products. Large shower. Plenty of room even for a big guy like me. I do like this caravan, it was the one that I made a beeline for, um, it was definitely going on the list and I do like that centre panel on the door with the um, chrome trim either side, it, it, it does make you feel like you're in a top end luxury caravan, the whole ambiance and feel of this caravan makes you feel you're in something special, I just can't justify the price tag. Concertina door that will separate you from the bedroom from the living room. And I do like the little L shaped kitchen. But like I say, it does make you feel like you're in something special, but I still struggle to justify the price tag. All the furnishings are really nice. Heading back outside to the offside, the usual um, gas, electricity, and etc. etc. Just a bit disappointed in those wheels. Yes, the nice alloy wheels, but just needed something just a little bit different, just to you know, go with that price tag. So there you go. There's a little quick overview of the Luso 2. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now. Draw.